music aficionados and people that just enjoy drum reaction videos. Drummer, drum teacher Tim Conley back at you again for another episode of Drum Teacher Reacts. Today we have a very, very special drummer near and dear to my heart. Yes, we are back to some of my favorite drummers. Uh, I, I'm continuing to do requests. I got more requests. I will continue to do them. I have to admit though, the requests I'm getting are from drummers, quite frankly, that I'm unfamiliar with, except for Virgil Donati and Matt Garska and Dave Ron. I'm familiar with those guys, but other drummers that uh, have messaged me with requests, I'm just not familiar with them, but I'm still gonna get to them. But today, Manu Cachet, French drummer, fantastic drummer, very famous for playing in uh, on Peter Gabriel's So album, In Your Eyes. Robbie Robertson's solo album, Somewhere Down the Crazy River tune, killer. I love Manu's playing. He's one of those guys like Omar Hakim, Steve Smith, Dave Weckl, Neil Peart that have influenced me dramatically. So this is my <clears throat> appreciation of Manu is that I love the way he doesn't necessarily play like, you know, he's not one of these drummers that's always playing on the beat. He does really interesting interesting figures that he always plays and I love his drumming fantastic player very musical he's definitely a song drummer but he's got lots of skill and lots of chops and ability but they're all very musical much like Omar Hakim same style very funky but at the same time the man can really play some jazz too so here's uh, drum solo Manu Cachet from his uh, solo album Turn this up a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Awesome, that's a signature. That's a signature, Manu. Now, Manu plays with a French grip, uh, which he is very, very good at, obviously. That's his grip of choice. So fluid. Look how loose he is. Love that fill around the kit with this with the, on the high hat. Now one of the things I love the boat man who also is his dynamics, as you can hear it already in the soul. Now, the splash symbol. I gotta stop for one second. Manu Cachier did this thing way back in the 90s. It was a Zildjian symbol ad. And I can remember watching that and watching him orchestrating around the drum kit in uh, with a tune, but utilizing the splash cymbal so beautifully, so magically, that it blew me away. Stuart Copeland and Manu are the guys that heavily influenced me in terms of getting those little splash cymbals and incorporating them into your kit musically. So I love those little splash cymbals. There they are again. He uses them a lot in his, inside of his phrasing. Uh, now he's using some hand and foot patterns. Plays Yamaha drums. I used to have those exact drums. I still have Yamaha drums. I play recording custom. Mine's the Steve Gadmaw. Signature Manu Lick is that bass drum. Single bass drum. It's not double bass, people. <laughs> that is single. Him and Nicole McBrain from Iron Maiden, wicked single bass drum technique. Chris Coleman, too, who used to play with Prince. He's another guy with wicked. John Blackwell, also Prince drummer. He's another guy, great single bass drum technique. Oh, great dynamic. What a great soul. Again, intense use of dynamics. He goes from exploding down to moving around the toms in a musical way. A lot of the stuff he's doing is linear. A lot of linear stuff. Some 
rudimental stuff, not a lot. Now he's been pulling out funk groove. Keep in mind this is a live. This guy has got some serious funk chops. I've always loved men who's playing. Now, oh, this is killer. I can't stop it here because I love it too much. See what I need about those splashes? Oh, yeah. Killer, man. I love that. Those quarter note triplets. Now, Manu's not, he's a very musical drummer. He's not a polyrhythmic technician. He's not metrically modulating necessarily, even though uh, he definitely can. He might have done a small modulation at the end there. But he's not a super technical drummer, but he's a super musical drummer. Now, I love musical drummers. I love technical drummers. I, I kind of like both for different reasons. I tend to lean towards the musical drummers. Now, a really musical drummer like Stuart Copeland, not really much of a soloist. I have a funny story about Manu. I can remember being at Long and McQuaid Music Store and asking the guys in there, you know, about drum clinics and who they're going to get. And they were like, well, you know, we're not sure who to get, whatever. I said, can I make a recommendation? They said, sure. I said, how about Manu Cachet? Because the guy is phenomenal. So they actually did contact him and asked him. And Manu's response was, I'm not really a clinician. I don't do solos. Get Dennis Chambers. <laughs> now, I thought that was funny because a lot of stuff I've seen is Manu soloing, and he's killer. He's a killer solo player. So I don't know where he's coming from when he thinks he can't solo because he's one of my favorite soloists. As you can see, the guy's awesome. Yeah, some nice low-end tom work. Listen to those toms sing. Now, another thing about Manu is he can play anything. He's another one of those guys. Funk, pop, rock, jazz fusion, jazz fusion. Um, man, the guy can play Latin, he can play anything. You, know, you name a style, Manu can cover it. He's one of those guys. I love that bass drum. <laughs> Kill it. Nice, little four-stroke roughs in there. Oh, now he's expanding the rough out. That's the dynamics. That's fantastic. If this doesn't bring a smile to your face, there's that old saying, oh, when the drummer comes off of the soul, that's when I go and get my beer. Not with this guy. He's hypnotizing. Even for non-drummers. Just awesome. I love that. Listen to how low and how controlled those single strokes are. Not double pedal. Not a double pedal player. Never has been. Exploding at the end here. Steve Gadd. That's totally Steve Gadd there. Yeah, that's awesome. Big finish to the drum solo, the crowd loves it, look how happy he is. Don't ever say he can't solo, what a fantastic soloist, I totally disagree. Very musical. Back down to that bass drum thing again. That was fantastic, I really enjoyed that. That's off Manu's um, solo album. So anyways, that is Manu Caché. If you're not familiar with him, you gotta check him out. He's one of the world's best musical drummers. Subscribe, comment, I'm still taking more requests. I will get to the requests that I've already had. Thank you very much for watching, take care.